Hello everyone, Sam here, Narrative Director from Spoonful of Wonder. We are in the final stages of finishing the script for our indie game named Copycat. It has been the most amazing journey and we have come so far. So we thought I'd take the time to reflect on the video game writing process and share my insights with you to keep you motivated and save you some time. So why is writing for video games so special? Every storytelling format has different strengths to engage audiences. For example, theatre tells the story, film and TV shows the story, whereas game writing guides the story. For theatre and film, you're in control of what the audience can see and what they can't see. But in game making, the audience has free choice. They are the levers that move the action forward at their own pace, in their own order. We notice in film the development process often works as a relay. We journey from the writer to producer to director to production team to post-production team. However, in game making, there's a lot more back and forward. There must be a complete trust between writer and director. The relationship must be concrete because one cannot move forward without the other. The writer is involved throughout the game's entirety and is a creative problem solver along the way. I'm no expert, I'm just one human who has grappled with the heavy depths of the script and have come out humbly on the other side. I have a background in screenwriting and comic book writing, and this is my very first video game. My journey wasn't perfect, but the structure was helpful for me, and hopefully helpful for you too. So without any further ado, here are my seven steps for writing a narrative-driven video game. Step one. Soak up everything you can. I'll start by sharing my top three gold standard storytelling resources. Get started with Alexander Sword's excellent book called The Forest Path Method for Narrative Design. He offers thoughtful guidance on plotting unique to video games in an elegant manner. From a screenplay perspective, the book that was most useful for me at the beginning of my journey was Blake Snyder's Save the Cat. It details the tools of a beat sheet that really helped carry my narrative through to completion and kept me on the straight and narrow. Finally, for a breath of fresh air on structure, check out 21st Century Screenplay by Linda Aronson. Perfect for stories with tandem narratives, multi-protagonist tales or fractured genres. All hail these geniuses. Miss one that was your favourite? Please share your resources in the comments so others can learn from it too. Step two, start with your resonances. The things that are going to carry you through the entire creative process. It's like a move board for your story. It could be pictures, dialogue, music, film, or a philosophical idea. Here are a few of mine from past projects so you can see what they look like. American writer Joyce Carol Oates mentioned in her masterclass, The Art of Short Story, that she had a shoebox of ideas and memories that she would always return to throughout the writing process. Now, as a digital nomad, I don't have that luxury, but I do have Google Slides and Spotify, which works well for me. If you're really bold, even write down your why. Why this project, why now, and why you? Step three, write out a few of your favorite moments in the game. These don't need to be just in script form. They can be big, juicy, exciting, beautiful chunks. Moments that come clearly to you. Maybe it's a difficult choice the player has to make. Maybe it's a funny cutscene or a colorful description of the game world. Keep them short but poetic. Return to these moments anytime you get stuck and need that sparkle back. Step four, write a short summary of your game. It only needs to be a few sentences long to summarize your thoughts. In screenwriting, we call it a logline. Linda Aronson calls it the spark and the heat. Alexander Swords calls it the high concept formula. But ultimately, it means a bite-sized chunk that contains the macro story and the character's super objective. Step five, write a synopsis. This step for me was the most difficult but most exciting. It takes a lot of time and creative energy, so be kind to yourself. Aim for one page and break up your narrative into easily identifiable acts with strong turning points. To write a solid synopsis, it took me a good 12 months to trial and error. So give yourself plenty of room to experiment. Step six, extend your synopsis into a treatment or scriptment. Think of this as your treasure map. 
This is a document that describes each of the scenes and what happens in them. Here's a draft of my scriptment for Copycat. The goal is to give broad brushstrokes for the game. It challenges you to think level design, bosses, plotting, character arcs, and of course, how you want to make your audience feel. Chat with your team. This is not something you can write on your own. This needs everyone's help. Plus, get people to read your scriptment and feedback on it. People you trust. They don't have to know video games. They just have to understand narrative structure because what you are creating is the emotional heart of the story before you start writing your full script. In our indie game, Copycat, it's estimated to be about four hours long and our scriptman is 20 pages, about 8,000 words and across 40 scenes. This of course won't be the same for everyone, but it may help guide you forward. P.S. James Cameron writes some awesome scriptments for his films, look them up for extra ideas. Step seven. Write the script. All the hard work and outline is done now, so think of this stage as the colouring in. There is some great software out there that can help you write. Scrivener is good for organising your ideas, and Twine is the easiest way to create an interactive story. Final Draft and Celtex are good options for writing engines, especially if you're coming from a screenwriting background. But for me, I use good old mind maps on the back of a napkin and Google Slides. I chose Google Slides because it was free and had the most formatting control. I wanted to write next to images and use them as quick reference. I also wanted flexibility with bolding fonts and tabbing in a specific way. So this might not work for you, but has been very helpful for me. And that's it. You've completed a draft of your video game script. There will be some tinkering and editing as you work with your team, but your foundation is there. Hope this video has been helpful. I've had so much fun making it. We will go into our live audio recording for our copycat script with our real actors in five weeks. So wish us luck. Love, Sam.